So today I'm going to show you how to uh, mel script the Christmas light generator. I don't have one uh, already pre-made. I'm going to go through it from scratch and uh, try to show the problem solving aspects of you know creating something like this. And basically we have uh, all of these wires and we want Christmas lights on them and to do it manually would take uh, quite a bit of time so we want to create something that will automatically generate them and uh, to make it a little bit more fancy we'll add a UI a user interface with uh, various options to control uh, scale and everything and this is going to be a multi-part series so we're going to I'll, uh, I'll start it up right now. So to begin, we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need to create tubes for these wires. And to do that, we'll just uh, we'll just start by going to the origin and creating uh, creating a circle. Let's frame that and put that at zero. And uh, let's move that over. We want to make kind of a thicker dual uh, dual wire tube to make it more realistic. And let's duplicate that and move it over a bit. So let's look at our numbers. Let's make it an even two. Go on to this one. Make this an even negative two and basically we want to extrude these curves onto here but again we're not doing this manually we want to make this into a mel script so let's uh, let's go into our script editor and we're going to look through and find out where we created this, uh, where we created this circle, and it looks like it's over here. So let's copy it and paste it into our script section, and let's see what uh, what all this means. So here we have a circle. Obviously, that just creates a circle. And if we just like uh, select all this, Command A or Control A, and now we'll press Control Enter, it creates a circle here at the origin, and it's exactly the same size as uh, our the circles we've already created. Let's delete that and see what's happening with the uh, with the mel. So here it says circle. Here, here's an option that's uh, minus ch, and that stands for construction history. Uh, whenever you select an object, you're gonna find make NURB circle, or you're gonna make a polygon sphere, or whatever, and you're gonna find the options. So here's a, so here for instance is the radius. We could control the radius, and uh, that's what the construction history is. So if we create our circle again and select it, we could see the make NURB circle and the radius is 2.962. So let's delete that and try to make one without the construction history. And by do to do that, we'll just uh, set CH to off. And run that. And as you can see, there's no more construction history. So that's one option. And uh, since we're making this procedurally, we're probably not going to need the construction history. So we could leave that off. Another attribute we're going to be looking at is uh, minus R. And uh,
if you notice uh, two, if you notice the number here, two nine, two point nine six one nine three seven, you might have uh, recognized that from our radius, two point nine six two, which is rounded off. And if we change that here, let's put one point five and uh, run this you can see that now it creates a circle that is uh, 1.5 units in radius from the origin you could count one unit and then one and a half unit so this is three units in diameter in total so now let's just delete that and uh, here we have our first line in the melt script but we want to we want to be able to control the radius with a separate uh, with a separate variable so let's go above the circle line and type in float dollar sign circle radius that's the name of our variable equals 1.5 and then we need a semicolon to close off our line so now we go back into our circle and we want to use circle radius instead of the you know hard 1.5 number so to do that we'll just uh, instead we'll just replace the 1.5 with dollar sign circle radius and we'll select everything and control enter and now we have a 1.5 uh, with a circle with a radius of 1.5 and we could just change that variable whenever we want so we'll delete that so the next thing we want to do is uh, wrap the circle around another variable so it would be easier to call it in mel and to do that we want to create a string dollar sign we'll call it uh, we don't want to use circle because that's already a built-in mel function so we'll call it uh, let's call it tube one because there might be another one we want to put equals and what we're gonna do is we have to uh, wrap wrap this line so that uh, Mel reads it as uh, one single line as, a, as an executable line and to do that we have to uh, put a back tick in the front and the back and uh, a lot of times if you're seeing this uh, this symbol on the web or whatever it looks like a single quotation which is like this, but Mel actually uses the back tick, which is uh, the tilde key without, uh, you know, using the tilde key without uh, without shift. And that key is located underneath the escape key. So now, if we try to run this object, or if we try to run this uh, script, it'll create our NURB circle but it'll also uh, put the name of that NURB circle and its shape into this variable so if we say print to one and run that it'll show us NURB circle NURB circle 3 so what we want to do is now duplicate this and figure out uh, the relationship between between the radius and how far we have to move it move it over as you can see this is uh, moved over negative two and two so we want to see how far we have to move this so we'll just move it you know to a, to a place where we think looks good and it's around negative one and we'll duplicate that and move it over to one so if we see that relationship, it's uh, we take around 33% of the radius. So 
So now that we know the radius, let's uh, let's get rid of all of this stuff and uh, basically start from scratch and try to reconstruct uh, reconstruct this with any size that we want. So let's get rid of this. Let's go back into the script editor and let's uh, select it all and uh, run it. And the next step we want to do is move this over 33 percent so we'll just uh, we'll just play it by uh, by sight right now just because by just because we want the command to move uh, to move an object so we have move minus R and then the values that we're moving so we'll copy that and we'll put that as our next line and we'll uh, change negative 1.156 to uh, to 33 percent of circle radius and to do that we'll delete that put in some parentheses so it uh, so Mel knows that we're running this as a as a math function and it all has to play together and we'll say circle radius times times 0.66 because we're basically subtracting a third a third from the radius so now let's delete uh, our original and we'll run our script and it moves it to 0.99 which is uh, basically what we want and now we'll create another circle in Mel we'll just copy all of this paste it and instead of instead of uh, putting it into tube 1 we'll create another variable called tube 2 exactly the same uh, function but this time we'll move it uh, negative so we'll uh, we'll do circle radius times negative 0.66 delete our circle and run this script and it creates what we had all in Mel and let's test this out let's test out the radius function by changing uh, our radius variable and seeing if it still works we'll put 4.2 it's a random number and run it and it works it creates our circles how we want them how we want them placed and now the next step is going to be to take these and extrude them onto the curves that we originally had